I had come across some magazines, some vintage Christmas magazines. Um, some of them come from when I get, came across that lot of Life magazines from the 40s and 50s. And then I just grabbed this McCall's recently, but I thought, um, this is just the cover. I thought that we would go through and harvest this together. Now, I am not going to go crazy and into fussy cutting on camera, but I am going to cut out the things that I want. And we are going to have to keep a close eye out on... Hey, look, I cut her eyeball. We're going to have to keep a close eye out on... Um, on little subtle Christmas things. Um, and I'm not going to throw away the whole magazine. Because like this stuff, I'll use this stuff in other places. But the problem is, is I had some of these magazines... The reason why I bought the entire lot was because they had been rained on. <clears throat> so he had this big tote full. I mean full. I, there was, I don't remember how many of them I have sold. It was probably uh, 50 or more. 50 to 75. I'm going to cut out this subscription certificate. Um, 50 to 75 of these magazines that were in this big tote. I bought the whole tote and I got home and I said, well, I'm going to dry out whatever I have to dry out for, uh, you know, for these magazines and I'll just keep the ones that are really rough. Well, I dried that. I dried it all out and I ended up with like I only ended up with like four or five of them that were bad because they had been sitting on top of the tote and um, I don't think that the whole tote was completely exposed to the rain so it worked out pretty nicely because then I had you know a whole tote full of life magazines to uh, sell and this one here is look I don't know I don't know what this one is I've never I've never come across these ones before but again, I'll use some pictures. Like, I like this picture. I'll use some pictures. Some of these pictures. But it's the ads that I'm really into. Like this ad with this little train. You know, I will definitely use this little guy. Um, that one there, Christmas is for children. Let's see. I gotta make a better pile of these. <clears throat> I, I'm out. Of, I'm out of room. I don't really want that. <laughs> Gay holiday season. Oh, that's funny. Well, I kind of. Well, I'll, I'll cut it out. I might be able to use that girl with the fur around her face. Um, but I did keep one of the Christmas ones for myself that wasn't damaged. Um, not that there was a Christmas one that was. That it just happened to be that none of the December models were uh, had any damage. So, oh, I like this. I like this. So it just worked out. Just worked out that way. But I am, I do enjoy these old Christmas ads. And like for this one, I am going to take this whole page because I want her whole get up. She is going to go somewhere. Like, let's see, will this fit? Will she fit on one page? We'll be pushing it. We might have to, we might have to put her in the middle. That's okay. We are still taking her home. For real. She is awesome. So now where am I going to go with this stuff? <clears throat> so we'll do that. And this. Alright, so. Holiday cocktails. 
Mm. Let's see. This year, give food and get happiness. Um, I don't really... There's nothing I can really fuss and cut out there. Ooh, I, I like this whole spread, though. <laughs> I'll take that guy. Paul Malls, too. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and tuck these. See, we're just going to keep tucking into whatever we find. So, I'll do this. That guy, we'll, we'll have to edit that a little bit. You know, uh, cut it down and and shorten it so it'll fit. But that is awesome. Uh, let's see. Why are the best eggnogs always made with rum? Well, I don't know why. Where are they? I will um, cut. I will cut that out. Some of it. I don't know if I'll keep all of it, but I like the little wreathy looking thing at the top. So let's see. See like that I would use. Not in Christmas stuff, but in other things. Look at that guy. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. I like that. I like that dude. Again, once again, it's time to make a bowl of Merry Christmas. I'm going to keep this page because I like those words, first of all, but I might have to keep some palm olive aftershave ads, so... We're going to take this whole page. See, I didn't want to do this. I knew I was going to have hard times making decisions. Let's um, let's cut the bottom of this page off. Like so. Okay. We are going to keep the bowl full of Merry Christmas. We are going to, once again, blah, blah, blah. Right? You're going to keep that. And men who know whiskey are giving four roses in an attractive gift carton. Wonderful gifts for wonderful guys. I am going to cut this part right here because I might be able to do something with the rest of this. Okay, we're going to do that. And we are going to come back over here and cut out our aftershave. I'm way more in it for ads, um, Christmas ads, than I am for like Christmas recipes. All right. And this, we'll do something with that. I, I don't even know if I'm going to use all this Christmas stuff. You know, I mean, it's going to stay, it'll go in my stash and it'll get used at some point. But. Uh, there's gonna, I got a lot, of, you know, I know I'm gonna have a lot of stuff to put in there. I already know I'm gonna have a lot of wrapping, different wrapping paper because of what we use. You know, I like to put what we use. Give your hair that just combed look all day long. Use Vaseline cream hair tonic. So, there, Vaseline had a hair tonic. A hippopotamus for Christmas. I like those words. I kind of want to cut up. I kind of just want the voids. So we'll take them. Cut them really crappily here. Hippopotamus, Merry Christmas, and all the finest to you from Philip Morris. Look at that. And Seagram's. Well, we're just gonna, this one is just gonna have to. Merry Christmas, let's see. We're gonna have to just figure out where to put that one in the moment, not right now, because that can go either way. Miller High Life. See, I don't really care about the ham and stuff. Plus, the printing on that page was poor. Let's see. Oh, see, this is the back of one of the magazines, and I like it. I like the back. And see, it's been damaged, but I don't care. I'll still use that weird Santa face. Okay, so that's the first one. 
This one is the Life magazine. So this one might have more ads like this here. Uh, you know, General Electric. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Thank you, thank you. We'll cut this out because she's getting her own little waffle maker there. I'm sorry, it's a combination sandwich grill and waffle iron. That's what she's getting. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Here are life's budget saving Christmas gift rates. We're going to take that. We are going to take this little card and tuck it someplace. <clears throat> Libby's pineapple juice. You know, I like pineapple juice. But, I, you know, it's weird because I liked the canned pine. I like the canned pineapple juice more than the, you know, refrigerated. I don't know why. This year, it's Neolite right down the list. Neolite? It's, it was a brand? Oh, it's not leather. Neolite is the material. See what they did there? See, that's when they started. That's the beginning of pleather, y'all. 1952. That's where it all started. Oh, man, I cut off part of Santa's hand. But I couldn't cut at that angle. These pages are huge. I didn't really cut off his hand. Kind of ended there. So we'll still use it. All right, so we'll still use him. That's cute. Somebody is, I don't know where anybody is here. Somebody is upstairs in my house. And it just sounded like somebody was out on my porch. I don't see anyone out there, but. All right, and this. I like this little tiny Christmas dude. <clears throat> you know, if you had enough small um, pictures from the ads, they would be cool for, they would be cool for um, ATCs. Like, I might. If I can get enough to make a handful, we'll do a handful of Christmas ATCs. You know, with all the time I have this month. Oh, I ripped that, but I'll still use it. Let me just cut it so that I don't have to. Right, I'll still use all that. I will still use all of that. Speaking of pictures, like these old at these old magazines have great title pictures too. The Sunbeam Coffee Master. This is called a vacillator. I have one. Actually, we have a couple. We have a couple of vacillators. And it does make a good. It really does make a good um, pot of coffee if you drink more than one cup a day. Our little pot only makes like, you know, makes successfully makes like, you know, two good cups, two to three maybe. If you drink small cups, maybe three, but two good cups. And uh, what it does, how it works, is it comes with two pots. So see, there's a an upper, an upper and a lower. So the water goes here and the coffee goes here and there is a piece that goes between the two that filters so it could be um, ours was a little glass piece that had bumps on top but they also have cloth filters in a metal like ring you know in a metal piece so the water heats up to boiling and then it gets sucked up into the top and it will um, it gets sucked up into the top and you cook it like you do on a percolating coffee pot that you do on the stove. You cook it until you feel like it's dark enough for your liking or you can time it, you know, I mean, my husband percolates his own coffee and he times it usually 10 minutes. So you can time it, you know, to whatever time you know you would like it. Then you turn the heat off and you wait for the coffee to come back down. Um, I have worked with some pretty fine 
uh, grind, pretty finely ground coffee. And I've never had grounds in my cup using a vacuolator, so. But I do, I enjoy, I enjoyed it. Because it was different, you know, because it was something weird. It was just a weird way to make coffee. I like this whole thing. Soup for lunch, because, you know, winter time is the time for soup. Lunch soup, lunch soup. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. All right, Pillsbury cake mix. See, I'll use that in other things in my life. Although, like, look at it. There's a sleigh. I'm using a sleigh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's see, can I salvage? Nope, there's no salvage in the Pillsbury. Sorry, Pillsbury. I'm going to have to hope you're in one of the other magazines I've got. Oh, Chesterfields. Nose, throat, and accessory organs not adversely affected by smoking Chesterfields. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I can see it better on a Crosley. I'm going to take this. Look at that woman's face. She is serious. She is serious. Mm-hmm. Maybe she can see it better, because look at that face. Like, yeah... I am high, girl. I am high on television. Okay. To pick the perfect TV Christmas gift, do this. Um, I'm gonna cut. I am going to take the whole thing because the ads are just so straight out. You know, they're just so. I just love it. All right. Tomato sauce. How to give pork chops a wonderful barbecue flavor. I have never attempted... I have never attempted... Uh, to make a barbecue sauce from scratch. Maybe it's because I don't eat a lot of barbecue... Maybe it is because I don't really know where to begin in making the sauce. I, I don't know, but that's one thing I haven't tried. I don't do a lot of saucy things. Only forty-two fifty starts your family on a lifetime of happy movie making. Yeah, buddy. Christmas tree with a camera. Projector, sorry looks like a camera all right and Christmas gift survey proves most folks want Ronson's did you know that did you know about that survey oh yep an independent nationwide lighter survey we have to cut that out because we're gonna we might need that information in our lives. We might need that, that information. 77% of people. So I have had a few people, I don't know if it's uh, people following me on YouTube, but I've had a few people buy my little circle tree kits. Thank you very much. I've got them getting ready to head out today so I hope you enjoy them because I had a lot of fun making them let's cut out the whole Lee ad um yes I had a lot of fun making those trees like I said I saw it in a magazine I think it was like Somerset I just remembered the name of it last night I was like oh Somerset Studios I think that was the magazine that I had gotten the idea from, and it was a Christmas special, obviously. Um, but uh, I can't, I have the magazine somewhere, but I cannot find it right now. Um, so I kind of just took what I remembered and altered it in a way that I thought work, would work. And it worked. So, hey, look at that. Oh, here's just the night before Christmas. P.S. If you haven't solved your gift problem, see your Frigidaire dealer today. <laughs> just love 
love it. I just love the ads. I just love the ads. Oh my god, they just make my day. A jeweler's extravaganza. That's beautiful. Ah, oh, Samsonite luggage. Look at that. Santa Claus. We gotta take the Santa Claus. We have got to take Santa. I'm I'm gonna leave the rest of this ad because I want this. I know I'm gonna want this backing for something. This jewelry thing back here. Love me some Santy. Okay. Let's see. The eight easiest gifts on your list. Let's go ahead and take this because I think it's going to be... Let's see what it says. <clears throat> Let's see. Here's the shortcut to long appreciated gifts for Ford owners. Only for people you know that own Fords, people. You'll be able to pick up eight gifts in eight minutes. That's how simple shopping is at your Ford dealers. They spelled they, they, they spelt that wrong. Dealers, it should be S. Not apostrophe S. For he has 101 modern gift ideas from sun visors and grill guards to floor mats, wheel trim, rings, and polish kits. These genuine Ford accessories make unusual yet practical gifts and Ford owners love them. A. The one woman. She'll fall in love with this Ford illuminated vanity mirror. Light is easily turned on and off by fingertip switch. Powered by pencil type flashlight batteries. Clips onto the sun visor. Wow, that is definitely not distracted driving. B, the music lover. She'll really appreciate this Ford rear seat radio speaker. Control knob permits adjustment of reception between front and rear speakers as desired. Lady of fashion. How she'll rave about these Ford seat covers. Available, available in a variety of patterns, materials, and colors, all tailored for a perfect fit. A quick, easy way to brand new interiors. D. Man about the town. Here's a sure way to please him. This futuristic American Eagle hood ornament has chrome-plated wings adjustable to three positions. E. The night owl. He'll find this Ford portable spot and utility light has dozens of uses. Just plug the 10-foot extension cord into the lighter socket and direct its powerful light where you want it. We'll stand or hang. See, it had to be a 10-foot cord because Fords back then are like 40 feet long. Man who looks ahead. He'll never stop thanking you for this Ford windshield washer. Cleans away mud, dirt, and grime in seconds. Makes driving safer. Just press the handy foot control and two streams of water or solution spray the windshield. Beauty expert. Ford's deluxe steering wheel will add extra distinction to her car. Beautiful black and ivory wheel rim and spokes. Uh huh. Hard to shop for man. He'll really go for those genuine Ford wheel covers. Made of bright, serviceable stainless steel. They're easy to install, easy to keep clean. Here we go, y'all. Now you know what to get your Ford. All your Ford people. Not the GMs, though. Just your Ford people buy my scissors for a treat instead of a treatment smoke old golds this must have been back when they were first coming out with how bad cigarettes were no other leading cigarette is less irritating or easier on the throat or contains less nicotine than old gold this conclusion was established on evidence by the United States government yeah bull sheep well, let me just say that okay but I'm assuming this is when it first started coming to light. You know, nobody did anything for another 50 years, but it started to come to light. Oh, I love this whole thing. New Christmas bulb won't chip or peel. Love the whole thing. Love. Love it every little bit. This guy, too. Man's breath runs the typewriter. Runs. That is something. That is crazy. Crazy, crazy. Let's see. My pages are starting to come out. But that's okay. This thing is so fragile. The customs of Christmas. Let's see. I almost want to keep this to read it. 
so I might. I might just do that since I went through the whole thing and I didn't see anything that I... I mean, there were some pages that were pretty cool, but I didn't see anything that was mind-blowing. Oh, yep, love this kid in the robe. For the gifts you'll give with pride, let your jeweler be your guide. <clears throat> Let's see. Say Merry Christmas with an Argus. Uh, I kind of just like those letters, man. Sorry, Argus. Sorry. I like your letters, but the cameras aren't Christmassy enough for me. I drink all the coffee I want, I get all the sleep I need. Stop drinking coffee. Don't stop drinking coffee, just stop drinking caffeine. Now we all like crave caffeine, that's what we live for. I like this Cheez-Its. Mm -hmm. That'd be a fancy Cheez-It ad right there. You would never know that I'm so good at fussy cutting by watching me cut into these magazines. You would you'd be like, this girl can't, don't know how to use a pair of scissors. Damn right I don't. Damn right. I like this whole, this whole ordeal. You know, we're going to have to, <clears throat> some of these full page ditties, we're going to have to do some sacrificial work on because, uh, oh, love that. Yes. And then I could probably cut some of the little things I like. Maybe this little girl. Uh, we're going to have to do some sacrificial um, decision making because it is going to be tricky trying to get these whole pages in here. Give hash more dash. I love hash. I love corned beef hash. I love corned beef hash out of a can. I love it. Zippo. Love those kids. Um, I love corned beef hash out of a can. I like it homemade, but certain, there have been some restaurants that I have visited that had a ho homemade corned beef hash, and it was horrendous. But I can tell you what, I always love, always love canned corned beef hash. And it is so bad for you. Oh, is it so bad for you? Like, it is like each can runs the risk of giving you a coronary. It is so bad. It has got like a zillion grams of fat. It's just terrible. But it tastes so good. It's always the ones that taste so good. White fluffiest, best tasting rice you ever served. <clears throat> Let's see. Richard gets his chance. Away from trouble starts a new life on a ranch. What the hell? He pleads with playmates during his early unpopular days at Boy's Ranch. They tied him to a post to be burned at the stake. Well, that is some shit right there. Holy crap. Let's see. Here's a butt. This is really not, uh, you know. I, I, by reading the little snippets of this story that I'm seeing on these pages, I don't know if it's a good story or a bad story. New queen of the drama. Presto, look at that. Looking in that window. We gotta keep, we gotta take this. Cause I can take that, and then when I look through it, I could probably get this guy with his cool plaid and maybe some things down here okay let's see my hands are dry and this is hard to turn the pages RC makes you feel like new look at that girl dancing for the most precious heads in the world Eagle knit. I like that. Oh, 
can you even see the whole thing? Like here I am, all the way through the video, and I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you can see. Okay, yeah, you can see it. Uh, let's see, the joyous air of Christmas. I don't know. I, I guess I like these. What's on this side? Oh, order the gifts of life. We're gonna keep the little magazine poop. Um, I like the whole thing. I'm gonna take the whole thing because I, I don't know why. Just because I'm gonna take it all out. All right. Uh, what do busy men like best? We'll bet a quiet evening at home and some Liederkranz brand cheese rank high on the list of what most men like most. Well then, ooh, a Tony doll. I keep, it's hard to tell if I've got one page or two and I'm like holding them. Because again, dry skin. All right, let's see. Cats. Let's see, a perfect gift to put your money into. Look at that. And that's not, nothing on that page I'm desperate to keep. And I like this with the little ornamental there. Right here. Just little ornaments. We have some old ornaments, but we don't have them. Um, we don't use them while the kids are young. We used them a lot, you know, years ago when Lily was just a baby, but you know, yesterday we decorated our tree and it reiterated why I don't use those ornaments. <laughs> why I don't use those ornaments while the kids are this age. Astounding new fluffies. I guess I like the fluffies. And this is cool because it's got all these games from Milton Bradley. So we're going to take that. Look at this. And then this. We're going to take this. Mistletoe. We're going to take that. Alright, so. That's that. And then this is just the um, McCall's. So, like, it has a gingerbread house recipe. I might, maybe I'll keep that. Maybe I'll put the gingerbread house in the journal. We'll keep the whole page. All right. A letter from Santa's workshop in Iceland with complimentary gift. We're going to cut that out. Because who knows? Might want to mail it in. You have to pay postage for uh, 21 cents for U.S. air postage. Alright, that. Angel Choir beaded ornaments. Those are always a big hit. Advent Tree. I don't understand the big deal with the Advent calendars. Um, I really want to keep this because I love the idea of making the houses. I really don't understand these big advent calendars where people give their kids toys every single day until Christmas when then they get a ton of toys. So what do they make this out of? Uh, let's see. Cardboard. Watercolor paints. Brush. White glue. Toothpicks. Ruler. Tweezers. White glitter. All right. So, yeah, I'm, I, I don't do that with my children because they're going to get what they have coming. Um, but there are a lot of people who are doing that. And I, I just, I guess I just don't understand why. Because like, oh, those girls are cool. Yep. Love it. Love it. So if you're one of those parents, I'm sorry if I offended you, first of all, but, um, you know, I, I guess I want to know how much room do you have in your house? 
Or how do you make one? Because I don't got no room for that. For them to get one toy a day. And like some of them are big. Some of them are large. Um, you know, ordeals. So. Egg figures. That's cute. Angel in a balloon. That's cute too. Look at these cool things. Funny, funny face ornaments. I will probably keep this because a lot of this stuff is really cool. Instrument ornaments. Paper. Here's some handsome group of Mr. Blah, blah, blah. Paper to hang on a tree or arrange on a wall or door. Pretty plaques. Yeah, like I'll keep this to look at someday, you know. But those things are things that I really want to um, see. Foam shaped trees. I like those. Um, I like this door. That's cool. Cards. Those are cute. What are they doing with them? Um, paper, lace, doilies, construction paper, blah, blah, rubber cement. No, that's not what's on here. Colored chenille sticks. So pipe cleaners. Colored construction paper. That's cute. And then I like these. I, I, used to, I remember doing those in school. I still have a lot of Lily's ornaments for the tree that she made, you know, in kindergarten and first grade, except for the ones you saw me glue in. Those are just like paper pieces. But the, you know, she made a fabric ball and she made a stocking thing and she's made a lot of that stuff. And I've kept it all. Vanilla cookie toys. So this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Orange sugar cookies. That's cool. I'll bet you. Orange juice concentrate is what they use. Fish stick Singapore. Rice quiche. I'm sorry. There's one thing I don't understand too. It's quiche. What a heavy, unnecessarily heavy thing <laughs> to eat. I guess I feel the same way about drinking eggnog too. So heavy. Alright, so oh, I like this whole deal, so we're gonna keep that too. So we got this big nice big stack here. I definitely don't have enough room in my Christmas journal to put all this. But we're still going to keep all this stuff, y'all. We are still going to keep all of this, okay? But I want to thank you all for hanging out with me. It took forever. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope this wasn't too boring. Ta-ta for now.